So, this is an unboxing of the Western Digital MyCloud personal cloud storage and uh, later on I'll be posting a review of it with an overview of how it is set up uh, and my impressions. Uh, the MyCloud storage, this is the 4 terabyte version, retails for $220 as of the time of this video and it has a USB 3.0 port for expanding the storage beyond the 4 terabytes. Uh, comes with software for backing up your computers too, an unlimited number of computers, so there's no limit on that. Um, it also has a gigabit ethernet port on it for you to connect it to your network with. Uh, and it can be accessed from anything, uh, computers, smartphones, it has uh, applications for iOS, Android, um, I don't know about the other OS's, but it probably does. And um, so you can easily share your pictures, your videos, your your files. And it also functions as a media server for iTunes, whatever. So you can uh, have your music files on this device, and it can stream to uh, like a <clears throat> surround receivers that receive that kind of data uh, and such. Anyway, let me get to the unboxing. But, um, here's a look at the box here with some specs. You can take a look at it. Its key features are a dual core processor, gigabit ethernet, USB 3.0 expansion port, PC Mac compatible, DLNA 1.5, universal plug and play certified, free mobile apps, iTunes support, auto network discovery. Which it says right over here. Okay, here we go. By the way, this enclosure has vent ports so that we don't have to worry about overheating. Here's your USB 3.0 port, your gigabit ethernet port, your DC, these are your vent ports, the fan and so forth. iCloud. A pretty good weight to it. These here, Ethernet jack. I mean, Ethernet cable. Use your quick installation guide. And by the way, these um, devices can also automatically replicate themselves. So, if let's say if you have two MyCloud devices in either the same location or two different locations, they can replicate themselves, meaning <clears throat> they can do an identical backup of each one. So that we can have an off-site backup of your data that's on here. And here's your power cable. <coughs> Alright, so that is it for now. And here are the instructions.
you go to the website, you download the setup software, uh, you basically sign up to their web portal. Um, from my understanding, you don't need to worry about having a domain name or setting it up on your network for accessing it outside because using the portal, it kind of does that automatically for you. <coughs> Which makes that life a lot easier for a novice. And, uh, okay. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.